Yeah, plenty of spin being bowled in this test match, over 100 overs between spin. And we, what we saw in particular was the Pakistan openers play spin really well when they came down the track. I've been joined again once again by Nasser. So Nasser, playing spin and using your feet, what is the importance of that? Well, you did a good piece on commentary yesterday about Imam in particular not getting caught in the in-between length. Obviously, Imam is left-handed, but if I could do it right-handed, he very rarely got caught in between. He's either fully back or when he came down, he was quick on his feet to get to the pitch of the ball. Now, that doesn't mean you come down fast just to hit everything. Quite a few times, Imam came down the pitch and just batted it away or even kicked it away if he didn't get to the length of the ball. So I think it's a vital part of your armory when playing against spin. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a piece from Hawk from yesterday where he's actually come down to the same length when he felt he wasn't quite there and he just sort of blocked it away. And when he, when he felt he was there, he actually hit some big sixes. So it just, I think, picking up length and then getting to the pitch of the ball, both are extremely important. And, and having a release shot. You know, high-quality spinners will get dip on the ball. So they see you coming and they may just drop it short. And I see a lot of youngsters, boys and girls, that come down and think, because they come down the pitch, they have to hit everything for six. What Imam did really well was when he came down and it wasn't there, what coaches call a release shot, he will just play it away. You can get deceived, but make sure you just have in the back of your mind, oh, I have been deceived. I'll just knock it in a gap for one or even just kick it away and get back in. Now, we talk about getting down the wicket to try and negate any spin possible and get to the pitch of the ball. The other thing is obviously going far back. Let the ball spin when you open up angles, leg side and off side as well. I think so. I, th I think the best one of that is Joe Root, actually. Joe Root has very quick hands and very quick feet. And when he comes, he has what we call in the, in the game a forward press. He presses there and then he either goes forward or he comes right back. You could almost go back on your stump and play it from there. Obviously, that brings LBW into play. If you think of Azar Ali with the new ball that skidded on yesterday, he went a long way back, but the new ball just did him for skidding on. The best thing about spin, kids believe that the slower the bowler, the slower your movements. Wrong. The slower the bowler, the quicker your movements. Quick hands, quick feet. When you have fast bowlers, then you can just use the pace and, you know, sort of glide the ball. When it's slow, make sure you keep your movements quick. Uh, you've heard it from him. Make sure you keep your movements quick when you're playing spin.